Hey guys, Tony here, and I got another console, another bucket list console off my list. This is the Channel F. This is the Fairchild Video Entertainment Computer System 2. And I have been wanting one of these for a very, very long time. Ever since Angry Video Game Nerd did a Pong episode, and he included this system in all the games that he played, all the systems that he played. And I'm going to try this sucker out. Okay, so it's kind of unique because the controllers are pretty wild. They're pretty innovative for its time. And I'll unwind this one. And it, as you can see, you hold it like this. And it is kind of a Pong clone. Uh, there are some different games for it. You push up and down. You can twist, turn, whatever. Okay, so that's the controller. Now the cartridges, they come in these boxes. And uh, I'm actually getting a few more of these at the Missouri Game Con. I'm pretty stoked. And I'm not going to be playing this particular game because it's kind of lame. But this is what they look like. Okay, and it's an actual cartridge. And that was fancy back then in the 70s. This thing screams 1970s. And that is awesome. I love, I love vintage video game consoles and systems. But anyway, we're going to try it out today. I have not played this yet. This will be my very, very first experience playing the Fairchild Channel F system. I'm super stoked to be doing that. Alright guys, let's check it out. Thanks for watching. Here it is in all its glory, the Fairchild Channel F. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start it. I'll give you guys a little demo. This is just one me playing one player. Of course, this is two player. And as you can see, it's just a basic Pong game, but with some twists. I'm the red. And you can twist your paddle with the controller like that. And it's, to me, it's a lot more fun than regular plain old Jane Pong. Now, you have a goal. You see the two lines there? If you push up or pull up, you can control the goalie that way. I had to figure that out. It took me a while, and yeah, I can't figure out how to play the computer, um, so that's a little frustrating. I am going to try some other games, but I'm going to tell you, this, if I was a kid in the 70s, I would actually prefer this over just plain Jane Pong, and I'm sorry if this is a crude way to capture footage. Um, I really don't have a way to do capture footage with these old consoles. Um, but yeah, this is still a lot of fun to try out and show you guys what it would have been like playing these old Pong systems in the 70s. And I might show more in the future. So let's try out some more games. Okay, I'm playing, uh... Video Cart 1, and uh, this has on it Tic-Tac-Toe, Shooting Gallery, Doodle, and Quadra Doodle. So this is kind of a little demo. Let's push start, see if that does anything. I don't know. This is the first cartridge I I've got to work. And maybe I just need to read up on how to start this thing off better. So I push start. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Okay, I'm moving that. Okay, I'm drawing now, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. 
I want to play tic-tac-toe. But a kid in the 70s, I guess that's how you erase it and change colors, will love this. To interact with your TV back then was awesome. So let's see if we can do a different mode. Oh wow. I guess if you just let it sit for a while it does that. See I don't know. <laughs> Let's try a different mode. This is different. I don't know guys, I don't understand. Your guess is as good as mine. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to do some research and get back to you guys. I just wanted to kind of show you what it looks like on a screen. Um, it's pretty unique, and I'm starting to add some very esoteric systems to my collection it's crazy it really is the stuff that I'm finding and stuff I'm adding to my collection um, I'm very happy to have this and I just erased that so I'm doing something I don't know it's like a kaleidoscope if you guys remember what those are I'm changing the screen color I might try one more cartridge, see if I can get it to work. Let's see. Okay guys, I think I figured it out. So on the cartridge itself, I'm playing a different one. It's Video Cart 6, and it's Addition and Subtraction. Ooh boy. It says in order to play that, you hold 1 and 4. Let's see if that works. There. So that would be 52. Oh boy, I'm practicing my math skills. Ooh. I think this is a two player game. Oh man. Does it go up to double? Triple digits? Huh. What the heck? Ah, okay. No! <laughs> so there's math. I'm going to try the other one again. And see if I can get her, get her to work. Try the tic-tac-toe. So I got it to work. Ooh, I am playing the computer. Let's see, I gotta be careful. What? That reset it. Okay, you gotta pull up. It's kind of it. It's kind of there. Ugh. Move over. It's kind of. It's kind of uh, touchy. Come on. Oh yeah. I won. Well, there's the Fairchild Channel F, guys. 
gave you a little demonstration of it. I am so happy to have this in my collection. You guys have no idea. It's so cool to have something that's pre-Atari in your collection like this that's cartridge based. So anyway guys, let me know what you think of this. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing a little bit more demos. I still need to do my Vectrex and I also want to do the Action Max for you guys. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and have a great rest of your day.